Roxon reports school danger zone series. Are there seatbelts on your child's school bus? Should they be required? Today, national investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson's in Ohio, where he's about to crash a school bus live. Jeff, explain. Good morning. Hey, Matt. Hey, guys. Good morning to you. This will be dramatic, and we want to warn our viewers this could be disturbing because this will be a live school bus crash. We're here at the Transportation Research Center in Ohio. Whenever you see government crash tests for the safety demonstrations, it usually comes out of here. What they do here is incredibly secretive, but they've given us rare access inside today to film this live because it's such an important issue. Why don't most school buses have seat belts on them? And so here's what we're doing. We'll give you a live picture of this school bus all the way down this track right now. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is that's gonna come down the track around 30 miles per hour, and it's gonna slam into this cement wall right over here at 30 miles per hour. Let's actually get the experiment going. John, why don't you hit the button right now? We're gonna start hearing these beeps, which warns us to get out of the way. We should warn you uh, that there are child dummies on board this bus right now that could be your kids. We wanna take a picture inside the bus right now to show you those child dummies that are there. This bus is gonna start moving down the track, and it is right now. We're gonna see that moment of impact, and we're doing this at 30 miles per hour because that is the average speed a school bus goes through a neighborhood. And this is going to be loud, I should warn you. The school bus is coming down the track. Here it is. It is loud. As a parent myself, that is so disturbing to watch in person, thinking that there could be real children on board there. I'm going to go on board this bus in just a moment, show you what happened to these children. We have that live camera inside. We're going to show you what happened to these dummies in the moment of impact. They are not belted in, those dummies. But first, we want to answer this question once and for all. Why aren't there seatbelts on most school buses, and what are the feds doing about it? School bus accidents happening across the country. Wapolo, Iowa, the driver of this bus losing control. Kids sent flying out of their seats, injuring all 10 on board. Tulsa, Oklahoma, another bus swerving off the road. Four students sent to the hospital. And just this March, six kids rushed to the ER when this driver smashed into their school bus. In every case, the buses didn't have seatbelts. In fact, every year, kids are killed riding the bus, thousands injured. But most states don't require seatbelts. Only these six states do. I feel very strongly that we should have seatbelts on every school bus in the United States. Jeanette Fennell is president of Kids and Cars. Why aren't there seatbelts in most school buses? Traditional thinking says that this idea of compartmentalization is the way to keep kids safe. The seat back is high, it's very close to the seat in front of it, and they're padded. So if the bus is hit from the front or the back, they should stay in this little compartment. But she says when the bus is hit from the side or rolls over, that's not enough. Just watch this crash test video. These dummies don't have seatbelts on. Now look at the dummies that do. Big difference. They stay in their seats. So why don't all states require seatbelts on buses? I went straight to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Would safety belts make them even safer? Absolutely. You had a big meeting about this this summer, and you just said seatbelts make school buses safer. Will NHTSA regulate that? This fall, we're going to come out with some action. And that could be inclusive of seatbelts, very likely to be at the top of the list. With all due respect, NHTSA has been looking at this for a long time. What do you say to the parents who are putting their kids on buses today? They don't want to wait. You bet. And right now, putting them on that big yellow school bus is still the safest way to get to school. And so we're going to stay on top of NHTSA and the federal government to see if there is action this fall. And we'll keep you posted on that. I'm inside the bus right now. I'm not sure you can tell the entire front is smashed in. School buses are some of the safest transportation there is. And you can see they're meant. And there is video of that uh, crash we did live just moments ago here on today. The front is meant to crash in and protect the children inside. Now I want to show you some of the video inside a camera of those dummies and what happens at the moment. You can see they get jostled around. That girl goes right into the middle of the floor. And if we come here live, a couple of the things you can't see, and by the way, here's that girl right on the floor like this. Can you imagine that if that was your child? 
What you can't see is these dents. Look at the dents that it makes in the seat and the level of impact there. But once again, this is an important topic. You know, uh, critics say if you put seat belts on school buses, the kids could buckle themselves wrong. Who's going to make sure they do it right? It's a tough debate. Uh, they're made, kids on seat belts, for a crash like this, but, the, you know, proponents of seat belts say what happens when you get the side collision or the tip over. And so I'm glad we did this and I hope it helps this morning, guys. Yeah. Jeff, you know, we were just saying as we were watching that here that our kids are all so conditioned to put mm -hmm. seat belts on when yeah. they get yes. in our car that we have pretty good level of confidence that they would do it right if they got in a school bus. Yeah. yeah. You wonder why it's not yeah, standard. I was, I was talking to a parent actually yesterday who said that their uh, five-year-old daughter was on a school bus and actually came home crying because the mother had told her all those years, if you don't put on your seatbelt, something very dangerous can happen. These kids get on the school buses, there are no seatbelts, and they get very confused and scared. My, my son is on a school bus every morning, and just a, just in the, on the rough roads in New York, I mean, they get bounced around sure, a lot, let alone in an accident. Yeah, great story, Jeff. Thank you very much. Kyle.